The SKR3EZ. What is that? Well, it's the newest board from Big Tree Tech. Big Tree Tech contacted me to see if I wanted to give a try to this newest board. And honestly, at first, I wasn't really convinced I should try it. But uh, I said, okay, well, you know what? I'll, uh, I'll do a small review on it. And to be honest, I'm quite surprised right now to, with what I see. Uh, quite Well, first of all, packaging is really, really attractive. Uh, I know it's not a big deal for uh, uh, when it comes to printing, but just the fact that right over here we have the uh, all the pin numbers at the back of the box, this is really handy. And it's going to save me a lot of time when programming my firmware for this. Uh, it comes with a few accessories normally. Well, of course, the uh, USB cable, and we have as well um, pins for the connectors that you simply have to crimp on your wiring. Uh, it comes also with uh, three sizes. Well, not three sizes, in fact, but it's three types of connectors. So we're going to have two holes, three holes, and four holes uh, connectors, as well as this resistor. I, I'm not too sure what that resistor is for. If anybody knows, uh, please leave a comment below. Uh, I'd like to understand what is uh, what is that for. And of course, we have uh, drivers. So 5160s and 2209s. Uh, due to part shortages, I couldn't get the amount of 5160 uh, I wanted, but uh, I guess I have plenty plenty of uh, 2209s. We'll, we'll look at them later on. Let's have a look to this board. We'll open that nice little bag. And, oh wow, I'm, I'm stunned. It's, it's really good looking. All everything is is lined up, laid out perfectly. Uh, the, at first look, looks like a pretty quality board. Reminds me of the SKR2 board. Uh, the component layout looks like uh, it's very similar. We have over here a small bag with containing jumpers of two different sizes. The back of the board uh, shows also the pin numbers and everything you need to know about the boards to make your right connections. And uh, yeah, so though those connectors for the driver, as you see them uh, up there, uh, they're quite different from what we're used to. They have two types, the step stick and the easy uh, drivers, as we're going to see later on. So the board close up over here, um, very, once again, it's, it's pretty well manufactured. We have the MOSFETs for the bed, MOSFET for the heater, those big capacitors on the drivers. And I can't wait to try those push on driver sockets. The MCU on this unit has a capacity of 480 megahertz. So a bit faster than what the Octopus Pro was at 446 and 427, I think the two versions, if I recall correctly. Back of the board, as I said, so all the pin numbers, well identified. And this is the driver. Look how small is that thing. Compact. I'm curious to see how efficient will the cooling be. Since we have we have fairly good mass to absorb the heat, but dissipating it in the air, I'm not too sure. Looking at the surface area of those fins, uh, we'll do a small test later on uh, to, to see if how that performs. But I kind of like the way they did it. So on two sides, the two sides of that PCB for the driver, we have heat dissipation mass. And this spot right here, highlighted, highlighted, could be a place where we place an additional heat sink. Connecting the driver is fairly easy. Simply press them in place. Only one way to fit them. They won't fit uh, the other way around. So no, no chance of mistake. And I've tried to, uh, I wasn't sure if, if they would, you know, with time or if you're swapping them, uh, the connectors are holding very good after several press, remove, press, remove. It's a, it's a good system, I think. So here's the test I was talking about. We're going to connect a 48 volt power supply to the board. We're going to light it up and see how fast are the 5160 heating up and how high will they heat up. We all know that the 5160 are going to warm up on their own due to the way their MOSFET are set up. 
one. So what we're going to do is take that 48 volt power supply and turn on the board, putting a small timer. So we're going to leave that on for a few minutes and see how the heat climbs. So right here we see that we stabilized at 34 degrees Celsius after five minutes. And let's see five minutes additional. Yeah, we're still, still at 34 degrees. And I have to say that it is fairly hot in my garage right now, 26.5 degrees. So considering these are only at 35, 34 degrees Celsius, I think they're doing a fairly good job at managing the heat. Of course, there's no stepper driver connected to them yet. Um, but I think that this is a good start. So overall, uh, first uh, first look at this board. I think that in just looking at it physically, I think it's it's really well made. Compact, has all the options. CAN bus, uh, RGB LED, uh, TFT. Uh, everything a good board is, uh, is going to provide you with in terms of option. It has it. The only downside of this is that it has only five connectors, uh, five driver sockets. So that's no, that's not going to stop me from using it on my Evort since I have an idea. Why not put two boards just like this? So stay tuned for more with that board. Uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel to not miss what I'm going to do with that board. And meanwhile, happy printing.